I went to pick up a box of used cassettes today. I thought I might get a shoebox full, but this is what I came back with. We're going to go through them, see what's in it. This box is so big, I can't even get it in shot. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to shoot this video. So thank you, Lorraine. A lovely lady called Lorraine offered th these to me for free. She'd been wondering what to do with them. Uh, and was going to throw them out and I'll put a post on a local recycling group and uh, she said I could have them so I went and picked them up so uh, it's a mixture of pre-recorded ones like albums and uh, home recorded ones and maybe some blank ones so we're going to put them in piles there's no labels on some of these I don't know what they are but the problem is with used tapes a lot of the time is they're um, especially at the beginning of the tape they can be quite badly deformed, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, they've been pulled through a sticky pinch roll or something and all creased up. That looks a bit sort of a concave, that one. So I don't know how good, that might have been stretched. If you're a tape expert, does that look as if it's been stretched to you? But it doesn't look badly mutilated. So I think it just needs a... No, it just feels a bit rough, you know. So let's batch them up and put them into uh, brands and what have you. So this has got TDK FE. I think I've got some of these. Uh, this is an SF100. So I think this is in the wrong case. Um, the best country album. I cannot stand country music, but my wife likes it. So, But I don't think this is in the right cassette box. So an SF100, I don't know anything about that. Uh, it's a Type 2, so I don't know whether it's pure, like a proper chrome, or a uh, cobalt dope. I'm not really that much of an expert, to be honest. But it's looking, oh, can you see that? Let's have a look, see if we can get the focus on that. It looks quite worn in the centre. It's like dimpled. So it might just be the beginning of the tape and it might be better further in. So I don't know how many cassettes there are here. There are lots. So I think what we're going to have to do, that's the wrong box for that. So it might have country music on it or it might not. I suppose I've got a good use for this now, which I fixed in the video a little while ago. So let's run this through and see if it's what it says it should be. I think it's the wrong box. Yep, that sounds old school. Yeah, I don't think that's country music, and I don't think it's the sort of thing I would normally listen to. So let's put that one aside, and we'll try and match up. Uh, try and match up the box for that. Okay, you're not going to want to sit through maybe 70 cassettes with me doing that. So I'm just going to go a lot more quickly through this. 21 songs of hope and inspiration. Okay, uh, Robson and Jerome. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do with these. She gave me them. But I'm never going to listen to these. But they were destined for the tip. So I don't know what uh, whether I should pass them on, sell them as a job lot or what. But at least we can keep them in the, you know, keep them from, from being in landfill. So um, what I think I'll do is I'm going to ignore what's on them. I'm just going to match them up into their, you know, their, their makes and models. That's a chrome, oh, it's not chrome, it's type 2. So these are pretty good tapes. Head Over Heels, rock and roll classics from the Colton, hit Colton TV series. I've never heard of it. Okay. Try and keep them in shot. Oh, right. Okay, this is interesting. 
um, promo cassette, not for resale, Deep Forest, Dolby B, uh, what's that, Sweet Lullaby, Nightbird, Savannah Dance and Sweet Lullaby LP version, same on both sides. Columbia promotional cassette. So I don't know what that is. I suppose I'd better make a pile of things to investigate. Okay, so these are cassettes which I know uh, what they are and probably would want to keep them because they're good cassettes. I've got a separate pile off camera of empty boxes that need matching up. And these, this little pile here is going to be my cassettes to investigate. So I want to investigate that and find out um, what a little bit more about that uh, um, SF100 cassette. And this is my pile of cassettes which I'm not interested in keeping. So a classic TDK D is the correct D90. Nothing on it, don't know what it is. I'll keep that as long as the quality is good. Oh, it looks stretched. Can you see that? It looks concave, as if it's been stretched. What is going on with these cassettes? But there it looks okay. So maybe it's got stuck in a machine somewhere there. Yeah, it's just that part, so that's not going to be that good. So let's pop that back down here. So what we've got here. Normal position, Sony FX1, 90 minutes. Soul Train, 12 classic soul tracks. Benson and Hedges, look at that. Am I allowed to show this? I don't even think I can show this on YouTube. Um, but that, that is definitely one I want to listen to. So I need a pile for listening to. Let's pop that there. Wow, look at this. Buddy Holly. Again, I probably would listen to that. But I would only listen to it in a cassette that has uh, automatic music, music search. So let's put that in there as well. Greatest Love, uh, 33 classic love songs. I don't like love songs. Call me unromantic if you like, but that is not one I'd listen to. But, you know, someone might like it. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Look at that, SA90. So that's a Type 2. Uh, I think these are high, high quality. These are really good. But yet again... We've got that sort of stretched, no, you can't really see it, let's wind it on again. That bit's okay. I wonder where these be, whether these have been stored somewhere. Yeah, it's sort of concave, it's not flat. But it's just in the part that's been exposed. So my guess is these have been stored. I'm only guessing that they've been stored somewhere. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, look at that. As I was saying, I think these might have been stored badly, perhaps. Somewhere hot. But look at that inlay card. TDK's recordable mini disc. Wow. That's fantastic. Never seen anything like that. So that's brilliant. I'm going to keep that one to one side. Oh, I think. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I've got so many things. That's an interesting one. I'm, that's just into. Okay, the more, more interesting ones that I'm going to look into are here. And that one, obviously, that's definitely a keeper with that mini disc inlay card. Uh, special announcement. This, oops, this cassette contains an important message from the prize draw manager of Reader's Digest. This is Tom Champagne speaking. Now that you're into the final stage of our £500,000 prize draw, 
I want to wish you the best of luck and to give you a special telephone number. Yep, I fell for this Reader's Digest stuff back in the day as well. So, okay, next one. Look at that. Almost. I mean, this looks like it's in mint condition. It looks like it's never been played. That has been played because it's... No, it, <laughs> it's just on side one. It's a little bit dusty. Oh, it has been played, yeah. Look at that. I'm not a big Elton John fan. A few of them are quite good. But I might give that a listen. Where's my listening pile? There it is. Okay, so we've got, what's this, Sony FX1, again, a 90, so it's quite a nice tape. So we've got two of those now. Oh, look how dusty these are. So these have been stored somewhere dusty. Led Zeppelin remasters on B-side. The cassette inside is in good condition, so that just needs a bit of a clean. So that's another one of those. This is the... So there we go. Ooh. God, I need cassette comeback. I need uh, some device on this. An AD90. So that's a Type 1. And again, we've got... God, that tape looks like see-through. But it's concave. On the bit. Well, it's really thin, that tape. It's concave on the bit that has been exposed when it's been stored. That's very weird. Okay, so I'm not sure where I got to, but um, this, I think, is a uh, another good cassette. So I need to investigate this. Another TDK AD90 with the same problem as before. It looks like the cassette, it looks like the tape is concave. Shouldn't really do this because this is magnetic. Not how you want to be treating a cassette. But yeah, it's, it seems stretched at the edges. That's probably the way to the way to say it. It's stretched at the edges but not in the middle bit. And uh but once you pull it through, the next bit of the tape seems flat where it's been packed on the spool. So if anyone knows what that is, please let me know what's caused that. Okay, let's move on a bit more quickly. Guns and Roses, uh, CDing two, BASF. I like this design on that. Best of Queen, so I might give that a listen. I think what oh, I've got so many cassettes here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Another CD in two. That one has not been stored in its case, and look what happened. So let's see if we can just move that on a little bit. Yeah, that one's a bit damaged. I think I'll put that to one side. Greatest hits of 1986. So there'll be some good stuff on there. Oh, sorry, I'm zoomed in. There we go. Status Quo, 30th Anniversary Album. Again, these are looking, they have been used. That used to be the price sticker. They're in excellent condition, apart from that funny, almost stretch bit. I wonder if these have been up in the loft or something. So that's a listen. Ooh, what's this? What the heck is this? Oh, Hitachi C60, UDC60. It's heavy actually. Made in Japan. Look at that inlay card. So it's a standard, standard sort of window inlay card there. And you can have a read of that. Just pause the video and read it. That's one for the investigation pile. So these are all ones that I'll be looking into off camera. See what I can learn about them. Uh, let's put those two down there. 
Oh no, okay, that one's going to go in that pile. Oh, a chromium dioxide Memrex 60. I wonder how old this is. Made in West Germany. 30 minutes each side, obviously. Ooh, that doesn't look familiar. Chromium dioxide. I wonder if there's a date on it anywhere. No, that's it. There's not even any copyright stuff on this. It doesn't say copyright anywhere. Okay. Something for me to look into then. God, I'm turning into a cassette nerd now as well. No offence. What have we got here? Boots. Boots Audio. UDV. 120. Now this must be old because it's saying it's at 1 and 7 8 inch per second. I'm sure they didn't put these on that on more recent, more modern tapes. That harks back from reel to reel days when you used to have different speeds. So you can run the reels at different speeds and get uh, better quality out of, slow, out of faster speeds. So that looks interesting. That's another one there. I think I, all I'm going to be doing is looking these up on YouTube, see if anyone's got any information on them. Oh, Buster! Uh, not many tracks on that I would, I would enjoy. But a big film back in the, uh, I think it was in the 80s. A big film, Buster. And I do like Phil Collins. Ah, Time Life. This is what the lady told me. She said she'd subscribed to Time Life uh, cassette subscription. And um, most of it is rock, I think. So that's one of those. I think there are quite a few of those in here. 1991. So I'll put that to one side because we'll have a different pile for those. Oh, look at that. Status quo. Status quo. Rocking all over the years, 22 tracks, including all their top 10 hits. That's pretty cool. I would, I would, I'll enjoy it. Again, in, in small batches, especially the concert stuff. I love seeing them at, uh, they did a, an amazing piece at um, Band Aid in the 80s. And I think they've been at uh, uh, Glastonbury as well. So that's definitely worth a listen. Yeah, I think just another um, Sony FX1. Yeah, this we've had one of these, haven't we? Yeah, we've already had a Memorex like that. Let's keep those together. So that one hasn't got the inlay card on it. So that's essentially the same. Classic D with the stickers still. Which is good, unfortunately slightly bent, but never mind. TDKD used. Oh, we, I think we've already had one of those. We've had Remasters 1 and now we've got Remasters 2. TDKD90 again. That looks like an older one, I think. Well, someone scratched out the TDK. <laughs> This, what's it say? I'm trying to get so you can see it. TDK RC2 mechanism J410OD. Don't know what that means. But, uh, so let's pop that on the TDK D pile. There we go. I think that's an older one. I had these back in the day. I really like these and they do sound good. TDK SA90. Again with that sort of stretched at the edges look. Celine Dion, that can go in that pile. Wow, what is this? Invicta Audio Visual Division. Animal Tales 1, 2 and 3. I've seen something like this before. 
1983. Hmm, okay. Not sure what to do with that. I'm going to put that in my investigate pile. Uh, wrong, wrong cassette box. So we've got another. Oh, there's the Memrex one. Still in there. Okay, here we go. More Time Life cassettes. Rock Replay, the Rock Collection. Someone was into their rock, but I'm not, unfortunately. So I might look into the Time Life thing. I might even contact the lady who gave them to me, see if she knows anything about it. Oh, look at that. Elton John made in England. Let's wind that on. And that's the reason on these cassette boxes you've got these little um, cross things to hold the uh, spool so they don't unspool themselves. That's quite good, I'm going to listen to that. I'm going to get it back in the box. Now, Rock, I wouldn't have called Bruce Springsteen, Bruce, Bruce Springsteen, uh, I suppose it is Rock, isn't it? Phil Collins and David Bowie, so, okay, I'm going to have to listen to that one as well, aren't I? Oh, my God. Okay. I wish I had a cassette player in the car now. Right, let me uh, stop the video for a second. Okay, it's half past ten on a Tuesday evening on a school night. So I think I'm going to go really quickly on this, get them all sorted out in roughly, um, you know, stuff I want to keep, stuff I don't want, stuff I want to find out about, and regular old cassettes I know about. So we've got some Ultravox and Spandau Ballet, so that's 80s stuff, and that's one of those. Oh, it's Boots. Boots brand cassette. Um, Kylie Minogue. Nope. Celine Dion. Nope. 25 years of rock and roll. Oh, wow. 1974. So that's part of a series, I guess. This retro head cleaning cassette. I'm going to put that in the find out about pile. 1986, we've already got one of those, haven't we? Um, okay, Mariah Carey. Nope. The Love Album. Look at those. Can't see it, didn't focus. Queen, the works. Some more of those. Some more of those. Wow. The best of the classical bits. I've no idea what that is, so I'll look into that. CD2. Lots of uh, two CD and twos here, that's good. Another CD and two. Savage Garden, okay. I'm gonna rearrange the camera here. Maybe this will speed it up a little bit. Let's grab a handful of these. BASF, got one of those somewhere. CD and two. Empty case. Wow, Philips CD1. 
instead of tripods where I've been putting my cassettes now. Another fancy SA90. Oh, different, different type, different year of SA90, that one. Super Abilene cassette. Nice one. Wow, look at that. Veritone. God, that's old. Okay, investigate. Queen, the Miracle, listen. SA90. Ah, SA90 box. Oh, it's another one of those. Meatloaf and Bolly Tyner. Bon Bonnie Tyler. There's another meatloaf one. Bat of hell. Okay, so is this another... I don't know what this is. Picker tape. Okay, investigate. Best of all women. So these are... Oh, I was just about to say... Uh, it's not sexist, but I'm just not that keen on many female artists. Uh, but Susan Vega, some of her stuff I like. And again, one or two Kate Bush, so I might give that a listen. Now, what's this? What's this little pile here? Wow, it's a four... I've no idea who this guy is. Dave Besant. Some of these are quite old. Okay, shame about the box just filled with pieces, but that's an investigate. Okay, that's A90. Now 15. Excellent. CD, CD in two. Ah, oh, Whitney. Great talent, but not my thing. Looks like another episode of What's in My Box. So these, I think, are all the Time Life ones. Yeah, Time Life. Legendary Rock. Elton John. So all rock. Rock Fantasy. UK rock, rock stars, FM rock, rock hits, rock passion, guitar rock, rock inferno, soft rock, hot rock, Rock Giants, Rock Heroes, Rock Ballads, Rock Summer, Hard and Heavy Rock, Rock Dreams, 80s Rock, Power Rock, uh, Rock Power, Rock Groups, Rock Solid, Rock the World, The Heart of Rock, Rock Christmas, <laughs> that should be a good one. Rock Forever, Rock of Ages. That's a lot of rock. Psychedelic Rock, that would be 70s probably. Indie Rock, Raised on Rock. Rock Resurrection, Rock USA, Night Rock. And classic rock, which I can't get to. Wow, that's a lot of rock. CD in two and sounds of the 70s. Flipping heck! Anyone been counting? Where the heck am I going to put all of these? So, the rock or the rock series, I'll do a little bit of research into that. Nothing, oh, I missed one. There we go. Earthrise. The Rainforest album. So the Rock series, I'm going to look into that, see if there's anything on YouTube about it. If there is, I'm going to put a link in the description 
and I might give some of those a listen. That row there is the pre-recorded albums which I'm going to give a listen to. This row here is um, a blank tapes with or without music on. So I'm going to have a look at the quality of those to see which ones I'm going to keep. This I'm going to look into as well, see if I can find any information about this. This pile is also to look into. Some of these I've never seen before, so I'm going to look into these as well. And this one, really, out of all of them, those are the ones that are pre-recorded that I would not listen to. So, fantastic haul. I thought I'd get maybe a dozen or 15 cassettes. If anyone's been keeping count, let us know in the comments. So if you've got any information about these unusual ones, uh, also leave a, a message in the comments, please. And uh, I might do a follow up on some of these cassettes. So thanks again for watching. Sorry it was a long one. I'll see you in the next video.